there knitters! Today on the show I'm sharing with you the latest knit vent pattern reveal and some lovely things that have arrived in the post recently as well as some fun ideas for secret Santa swaps. I'm Helen of Curious Handmade and here on the show I share my knitting adventures as well as lots of other crafty things. This isn't a holiday festive mug but I thought it looked quite festive it's got a little bit of bling to it so first of all I thought I'd just give a little reveal of the latest knit vent pattern to come out and it is the montage hat so it's a really simple um, lovely hat to knit and it's a very loose cable pattern on the um, body of the hat it's a very loose cable and so there's no sort of pearl gutters or anything. It's a very all over cable pattern and I've made it even more looser than what was in the original stitch pattern uh, that I found and just sort of loosened the cables up a little bit, spread them out a bit more. Uh, so this comes in four sizes and I've topped them off with a pom-pom from the Grocery Girls. Um, the Grocery Girls in Canada sell these fabulous pom-poms and apart from the fact that they look so cool, I really like the way that you attach them. <laughs> oh, could I loose end there on my sample. <laughs> um, so... Uh, they come with this ribbon and a little um, um, patch felt thing that you thread the ribbon through and then it really stabilizes the pom-pom um, and keeps it nice and steady on the top of your hat. Uh, so it means that you can really easily take them off to wash them and swap them around if you'd like a different color. I really love both of these colors, especially this uh, really soft pale gray one. Um, I think it's just gorgeous. And yeah, they would look equally good on the each color of the hat. So I think it would be fun to swap them around sometimes. And they yeah, are just super easy to attach. You don't have to sew anything. Um, so they can be found at the Grocery Girls online shop um, and yes, highly recommended. I also like to use um, pom-poms from Toft Alpaca in the UK. I've used those a lot in the past on my hats and I like them because they're a natural fibre and completely biodegradable so they're really nice to use as well. So that's the fifth design in Knit Vent this year and that means that we just have one more design to be revealed. I managed to find some Fortnum and Mason tea in a local department store so I'm drinking Darjeeling. I used to like going there in London because it was part of my trying to avoid packaging and plastic. You could take your empty tin to Fortnum and Mason and they had loose tea that you could fill up your tin from. I think there was a few other shops um, in central London you could do that as well. Uh, but sadly now I'm doing the opposite and um, purchasing something that comes from a long way away but the tea is so lovely that I thought I would treat myself. So I just wanted to share with you some things that I have purchased and that have arrived recently. This was from a while ago actually. I'll just mention my t-shirt from Hokey & Co. One of my favorite t-shirts. It just fits so beautifully. I think this is the medium size. Um, yes, love this shirt. It always just feels like it's smart and can wear it anywhere even though it's a kind of a casual garment um so the thing that arrived just yesterday i think is this very very exciting parcel it's my advent set from sherry iris 
Um, it's called The Winter Gathering, a foxglove tale. Um, so I'm not going to open the box. It's tied up with a beautiful ribbon. I'm going to open it on the 1st of December and I will share what it's like inside then. But I'm very, very tempted to unwrap it. <laughs> I'm going to just wait a few more days. It's only a couple of days. Um, before I can open it. So quite some time ago now, I signed up for a crowdfunder for Yarnology magazine, which was an online magazine um, here in Australia, and they wanted to do a print uh, copy of the magazine, a print version. And so I signed up for the, um, for the crowdfunding um, effort, and this arrived in the mail this week. Um, I think also just yesterday, <laughs> losing track of time. So I went for the option with yarn and the yarn is from Black Wattle Yarn and Fiber. I have to put my glasses on to read the labels. Um, the yarn is from Black Wattle Yarn and Fiber. And it's a special edition. The colorway is called Sweet Pea. And it's 60% superwash merino, 20% alpaca and 20% silk. So it's a very luxurious, beautiful blend. And I can't remember what the options were now, um, but I obviously decided to go for two skeins of this very special yarn. It's a limited edition um, and I really do love these colours. I don't think I knew what colours I was getting. Um, I can't remember. I think there might have been something like you could choose bright or moody or something like that. I can't remember. But these are really, really gorgeous, rich, plummy, earthy colours. Um, so I just love those. I also chose to get the bag. Um, so this is the little printed tote. It's quite a big size. It'd be good for sweater project with the um, alpacas. alpacas on it very cute and last but not least the magazine really really beautiful cover and I've been seeing photos of the cover they've been sending updates and things I did not realize that these blooms are actually um, knitted and crocheted items so yes it's a uh, fiber bouquet um, and these are representing Australian native flowers so it's very very beautiful the editor is Sarah Price I think she lives fairly close to me up here in Queensland so it was quite funny because I was flipping through and I saw a story about Kate James who is the valley maker um, and she does natural dyed yarn and other fibers um these beautiful pictures of her home and studio and it was quite funny because i had just put in an order um having been enabled on instagram by some beautiful embroidery thread and then this lovely parcel arrived this morning um, with a beautiful note from Kate and some lovely thread. So I'll just open this. So she was showing these beautiful um, naturally dyed embroidery threads on her Instagram. Uh, don't you just love this dusky pink color? It's so beautiful. Um, some blues, really delicate natural colors and she has a lovely little card with her story um, just all the little details 
Um, there's a beautiful sticker. So I decided to order some of these embroidery threads because um, if you've seen my um, recent videos or um, chatting on my podcast, I've been getting into embroidery a little bit lately. Um, so yeah, so thank you, Kate. <laughs> and it's lovely to read about your story in Yarnology magazine. There's also a lovely feature on Louie and Lola, Karina, who's my uh, indie dyeing friend down in Tasmania, and lots of other stories about amazing makers based here in Australia. So thank you so much for the team that's put the magazine together. It is lovely to have a hard copy of a magazine. I am a big magazine fan. I've always loved magazines since I was a little girl and still do to this day. So it's very exciting to have um, a Yarny magazine. I was just getting ready for a secret Santa swap that my patchwork Thursday night group is having. And we're having a little Christmas get together next week. And so I thought I would share some ideas that I've had for that and also a family swap that we are doing. I think I've mentioned this before, but my daughter Lexi wanted to have a secret Santa swap amongst the family because the adults were organizing um, to have a swap, um, just giving one person a gift rather than all the adults giving each other gifts and just keeping individual gifts for the kids. Um, but she really liked the idea of being part of a swap. So we then had to implement a second swap with everybody in the family. And Lexi came up with the idea of a mug and a pair of socks. Not quite sure where she got the idea from, but I think it was quite inspired. Um, so my gift, this is not the mug that I'm planning on gifting, but I went shopping for a mug for my gift the other day and I couldn't resist this mug for myself. <laughs> so I thought I would show you the mug. Um, these are the socks that I'm gifting. Um, so I'm not sure if mum watches the, the videos or not, but uh, she will have heard me talking about these socks quite a bit if she does already. So that won't be a surprise, but I thought I would keep the um, exact mug that I got for the swap a secret um, for now. But yeah, so I thought I'd just share that because I think it's like a really great idea for a swap um, because often it's just like, oh, $25 or $10 or whatever. And you don't really know what to get the person, but we're all getting each other a pair of socks and a mug. So I think that's a really fun constraint. Um, so if you want to steal that idea, please go ahead. And then yes, for my patchwork group, the uh, constraints are up to $25 um, or something you've made. So that got me thinking about making something. And so I have a board on Instagram that I save um, cute, small sewing things <laughs> to. <laughs> um, so it includes like pin cushions, little patchwork bags, pouches, um, what else? Oh, cushions and just cute little fabric bowls. So it's mostly been since I've been getting into the patchworking and um, looking at really cute hexy projects and things like that. So I started saving these ideas of smaller projects than a quilt. Uh, so I went and had a look there. There's so much inspiration. And it was actually really lovely looking at the ideas. There are some lovely projects there from Arabesque Scissors is the Instagram account. And that is Ali. She's based in South Australia. 
and she has some patterns for sale for some really cute little um, projects. There's also Lowland Originals and that is Renee. I think she's in the Netherlands, hence the name Lowlands. And she also has an online shop um, selling kind of like different bits and pieces. Like maybe she'll have like a collection of um, ready made hexes or other little bundles of scraps or just kind of really cute things that you could use for scrappy projects. And coming and coming back to Australia, there is Ava and Neve, and that's a online shop. She might also have a physical shop, and they are based here in Queensland, I think. But I think it's a little bit of a drive from here. I remember looking up how far it would be to go to this shop at one point, and it was a good couple of hours from where I am. So um, I might get to visit one day, but in the meantime, her feed is just lovely, really full of beautiful, um, pretty cute things with made with fabric. I think she posted a really cute um, pin cushion made from scraps that she'd made that was quite inspiring. So I was looking at all of those as well as um, Casey Stevens patterns for little pouches and bags and things. So I'm going to choose uh, one or two things from my inspiration board to make for my secret Santa swap, I think. I do have um, a couple of my little, <laughs> my little um, fabric buckets as well. So maybe I'll use one of these and pop in some other lovely things as well. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to think about that. I've got a few days um, before I need to have that ready, um, but I'll have to get onto it quite soon. So I'd love to hear any creative ideas you have for Secret Santa Swaps, especially with um, Yanni or Stitchy, Crafty Friends. Um, what gifts you've given or if you have any themes to your secret Santa swaps, things like that. I'd love to hear about that in the comments. So I think that's all I have to share this week. I hope you're having a lovely lead up to the festive season and it's not too silly. Happy knitting and I'll talk to you again soon.